And we begin this hour with some immense legal pressure for former President Donald Trump. This morning, he's expected to appear in a New York City courtroom for his hush money case. He has pleaded not guilty to falsifying business records to hide payments to adult film star Stormy Daniels. Trump is also facing a major financial deadline today in his New York civil fraud case. He either has to pay a nearly half a billion dollar bond or risk some of his properties being seized. CBS News campaign reporter Katrina Kaufman joins us now for more on all of this. She's also an attorney. Katrina, good morning. Thanks for being with us. I uh, want to start with asking you what happens if he doesn't come up with the money today? I mean, how soon could some of those properties be seized and where might the AG start? Good morning, Chanel. So the attorney general has quite a few options, but really this is probably going to be the beginning of yet another long legal process. As you mentioned, she can go after Trump's property, both in New York and around the country, although this is a complicated process. First, she has to enter the judgments in other states, but also he doesn't just own these properties outright. They're owned by trusts and LLCs. There's also obligations related to loans and mortgages. So the state wouldn't necessarily be first in line to get money if there's a sale of those properties. But another thing she can do is what's called a bank execution. She can drain Trump's bank accounts by having a sheriff or a marshal walk into a bank where Trump has an account and they can just have them turn over those funds. And because the plaintiff is the state here, this could happen immediately. Normally with an individual, the bank has to wait 27 days to do this. She can go after Trump's personal property as well or even have his 500 LLCs turned over to the state. Another interesting thing in New York is there's something called a restraining notice, which could prevent Trump from spending money while he owes the state. A source I spoke with said, for example, he can't spend $20,000 filling up his jet when he owes the state of New York nearly $500 million. Yeah, that's a good point, Katrina. Uh, turning now to the hush money case. Trial was originally set for today, but we know now that was delayed. Remind us how we got here and what we can expect today when Trump returns to the courtroom. So today was supposed to be the start of the first criminal trial to be prosecuted against Donald Trump. And this was the first indictment as well. But due to some recent discovery that's come to light, instead we're in a hearing today where the judge is going to be assessing this new information as well as whose fault it is that it's coming up so late. Is it because of the defense or because of the prosecution? In New York, there is a law that says the prosecution has to turn over certain evidence in a timely manner to the defense. And if not, there could be sanctions as extreme as dismissing the charges altogether. And that's something that Trump wow. will be arguing for today. But DA Alvin Bragg says that they turned over everything they had at the time. You know, it's not their fault that new information has come to light late and that Trump's team actually requested some of it late. So today the judge will be assessing all of this and making a determination about if and when this trial can move forward. It could be as soon as mid-April. Okay, very interesting. We'll keep a close eye on this. Katrina, thank you.